not returning, Daddy. In this video, I'm going to show how I made some fridge magnets using some polyurethane doming resin. I start by burning my logo onto some very thin 1.5mm plywood. This is using one of my um, custom made branding irons or leather stamps. And you have to time it just right to get the right level of burn. With practice you sort of get a feel for it. I found the best way of cutting these discs out is to use my arbor press and a, uh, a punch, a circular punch. This is a 38mm punch which I use for some of my leather punching. And uh, yeah, you put it under the arbor press with a uh, chopping board, cutting board underneath and uh, put lots and lots of pressure on and it does a pretty good job of punching it out. I did have to sharpen the punch a couple of times. It does a really neat job. I then need to stick these onto the magnetic sheet uh, and I use a, a contact adhesive for doing this. I use Evo Stick Time Bond and I do use a little bit of the uh, solvent for this just to uh, water it down. That's a flexible sort of rubber magnetic sheet that I bought from the fridge magnet shop, especially for fridge magnets. So here I am just um, thinning down the Time Bond a little bit. I then apply it to the back of each disc, making sure I really thoroughly cover it. And uh, you just have to wait for it to sort of lose its stickiness. Um, but you have to also apply it to the fridge magnet sheet as well. And let that the stickiness go from that. It only takes a, a minute or two. But it does help if you just thin this down a little bit just to help it flow slightly. It does get a bit claggy otherwise. But coat it really thoroughly. Like I say, you just wait for a minute or two for it to lose its tackiness and then you press the two halves together and it bonds instantly. It's meant to be repositional this time bond but good luck with that and it's pretty well instant. I'm then cutting away the excess um, fridge magnet material using a very sharp scalpel and I should point out that I have sealed the surface of these discs with a clear lacquer. This is to stop bubbles rising up through the resin when I uh, coat them. I'm also uh, making some larger fridge magnets using some of my stickers. And I'm sticking these very carefully onto the fridge magnet sheet so I don't get any bubbles and then using an acrylic disc to cut the shape out using a scalpel again but I found this was the easiest way of getting a nice neat circle they do do this um, magnetic sheet in a, an adhesive backed one where you pour, peel off the backing and I have got some of that uh, and it, it works really well actually then we're on to the doming resin I get most of my resin from MBFG in Belfast, uh, different resins, but this is um, brilliant, this doming resin, but you must follow the instructions. You have to bring the bottles up to a certain temperature before mixing. Weigh it out very carefully, it's a 50-50 mix. And, uh, and then you have to mix it very, very thoroughly. mix and mix and mix make sure it's thoroughly mixed and uh, then it's a case of pouring it on my fridge magnets it's meant for putting on badges and things really but it works very well on these fridge magnets and I've put all these on what's called hammer board which is um, it's for doing sort of patterns with beads and things but it's a series of lots of little pegs that stick up from the board and it just holds them off the surface. Uh, that way, if any flows over the edge, it um, doesn't glue them all together. Just spreading it out so it goes right to the edges of each disc and forms a nice meniscus or a dome over the surface. Well, I've finished the fridge magnets. Done uh, the little ones with the burnt logo. 
I made some out of my stickers another one out of a business card I'll try and uh, show you a bit closer it might just focus on them I'm not sure but I'm very pleased with these very temperamental this stuff uh, you really need to follow the instructions very closely um, get the temperature up you know resin up to temperature before you use it mix it thoroughly and uh, when it's setting I leave it to set overnight and I let let it set in a very warm place because you've got to let it set in a warm place otherwise it doesn't cure properly uh, let's try and give you a close-up view of that Anyway, I've made quite a few of these smaller ones and uh, I'm going to be at the Andals Woodworking Show on um, Saturday. I'm going down there with uh, Nick Zamet, hopefully, if all goes to plan. So it should be a good day out. It's a really good um, show, Andals. It's a very good shop, actually. So looking forward to that. That would be a great day and I'll bring some of these with me. So come and say hello if you want a fridge magnet, ask me if I've got any left you can have one. Uh, I'll bring some of my stickers as well but hopefully see a few of you at Yandles and that's Yandles is in Martok in Somerset but it's a brilliant show you can find out all about it online and uh, I might see you then and I will be back soon with a proper wood turning video. Uh, I haven't had a lot of time lately the bathroom is almost finished but it's taken up every spare minute when you work full time and then you got you come home and have to do that it does eat into my uh, hobbies time. Doing the fridge magnets I could make use of the odd spare minute or two that I had to do these. Anyway I shall be back soon with some sort of uh, slightly more um, involved projects. Thank you very much for watching and thank you very much to all my subscribers and hopefully I might see some of you down in Somerset at the Yandles Woodworking Show. I'll be there on the Saturday with Nick Zamet and it runs on the Friday and the Saturday 7th and 8th of April 2017. Thank you very much. More videos coming soon.